Hey, what's up everybody? Sean here from OzbenMedia.com. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to take some songs in your iTunes and make them a play or make them a ringtone rather uh, for your iPhone. And uh, it's pretty simple. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Should take you less than just a couple of minutes. Uh, so without further delay, let's just dig into it. Uh, I want to have this song here. Can't pronounce it, but uh, it's by Sigaros, and I want to make that a ringtone. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is right-click the song, go to Get Info. And uh, from here, I'm going to determine how long I want this ringtone to be. So I'm going to go to Options, and I'm going to check the start of 0, zero and I'm going to put the stop, and I'm going to make that, we'll say, what? We'll say 20 seconds. Uh, which I believe would be like this. And then I'm going to click OK. And let's listen to the song, make sure it's going to work here. And I can see it's counting down, only 10 seconds left, so I think we've got that right. All right, so we got that. Uh, about the timing we got that, I'd say, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, so we listen to the song. We know what we want. Now we need to create an AAC version. So let's right-click. Well, you should find Create AAC Version. Okay, so now we have an AAC version. You can see it right here. It's 20 seconds long, right? So let's click on it. Then we need to right-click it again. And we need to click Show in Finder. All right, so here's the song in our Finder. Then we want to right-click it one more time, go back to Get Info, and we want to change what this ends with. So instead of M4A, we want that to be M4R. And just hit Enter. It'll say... Do you want to keep it M4A or do you want to use M4R? We're going to say use M4R. So we've got that changed. And then our next step is to copy this to our desktop. So let's just drag it here. All right, so we've got our M4R file on the desktop. I'll go ahead and close this. Um, we need to go back and we need to delete our shortened version of the song in our iTunes before we do anything else. So here it is. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to delete that shortened version. Okay. The next step is to take that file that we just created that we dragged from our to our desktop, the M4R file, drag it into our iTunes. So that should be in there now. So now if you have your iPhone plugged into your iTunes, uh, you should be able to sync it, and it should be in uh, your music. So let's see here. Let's go to Tones. Uh, we might need to sync again first here. So let me go to my iPhone here, and let's just click Sync real quick. It shows that there's three tones to be synced, so I think we might be in good shape here. And right there it is. And we've synced all the tones, and uh, there's my option. So you can either check uh, which ones you want selected, or if you're like me, to select all the tones that you've created, click Sync, and it'll be on your phone. And that's really all there is to it. We might want to go back, find that song, uh, right click it, go to Get Info, and let's just make sure. Yeah, we don't want to, we want to uncheck that right there. Otherwise, when it when you try to play it uh, in your iTunes or something like that, or you sing it to your iPod, uh, the time would still be shortened. So let's uncheck that, stop time, click OK. Now the song should be back to normal, and it is, 7 minutes, 32 seconds. And that's all there is to it. So it's quite that simple. 
I'm just going to drop that here in the trash. That's the end of it, folks. That's how you make a ringtone uh, out of any song that you have in iTunes. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in. I'll speak to you soon.